Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to texture map a dice in Blender. We will also look at the new 2.8 uh, interface for Blender uh, and then uh, create a very simple object and texture map it uh, so that you understand the basics of texture mapping and in the end you will be able to create a dice like this. So what we will do is we'll go to file load factory settings and the new uh, blender interface is quite different from the 2.79 so instead of uh, right click uh, we will go again to file default or better we will close this and then open blender again because I want to show you this window and here you can see that the select width left or right is there and then there are uh, certain you can load the old settings but I would suggest that you learn the new interface of blender and learn to do the things new way because hereafter it's always a good change a good idea to adopt to the change so now blender has come up with new uh, settings and i think it goes well with the uh, other software so you can seamlessly work between maya or max or blender or uh, c4d uh, where uh, things were quite different in blender uh, so you can work with multiple uh, software seamlessly and it's always good to adopt to the new change as soon as possible because when the new blender version comes maybe things are more different and every time a new version comes it is better to learn the new tools and trades and then adapt to it okay having said that let us get started so again you have a default um, cube here and then the basic uh, tools are here so now you can uh, click to select an object and then the move rotate and scale tools are here so you can see that uh, again in the middle mouse button is going to uh, go through the camera there are certain settings here so you can click and drag to plan pan and then you can look through the camera here and then go back uh, scale you can click here on the circle and make the scale big or small you can see that the uh, location rotation and scale values are seen here on the right and ag again this is a new feature where you can scale in two axes uh, in x y or y z or x z and then you can do all the manipulations of move scale and rotate at the same time using this Okay. Now on the top you can see that we are in the layout mode and then if you go to modeling mode then you get the edit mode uh, by default and then here you can see that you can select the object using vertices okay, and then you can move those vertices if you want. Again right click will cancel the before releasing the mouse if you right click it will go back. The next one is edge so you can click on the edge and then you can click and drag and then you can release it if you hit the shift key you can select two edges at a time and if you go to vertex mode and select deselect outside so click and then shift click the other one and now you have selected two vert vertices and then at the same time an edge is also selected Okay, the third one is the face mode, so you can select the face and move it around. Okay. Now here, you can look at the wireframe mode, shaded mode, or the uh, viewport shading, and the rendered mode. If you click here, you can see the x-ray mode so that will help you for example if you are in the vertex mode and the shading mode is deselected if you select uh, this is the select button if you select all these vertices if you go back you will see that the third one did not get select 
okay so if you want to select the entire object you have to turn the x-ray mode on and then now you can see through it and now when you select you can see that the one in the back also got selected all right so the select mode will be helpful the x-ray mode will be helpful to select all the faces or vertices or uh, edges when you are editing an object so to create our dice what we are going to do is we are going to select all the vertices uh, we'll go to the x-ray mode we'll select all the vertices all the vertices you can always look around to make sure that everything is selected the way you want and here there are extrude inset bevel and the other tool so we are going to look at bevel tool today so click on the bevel tool and once you click on the bevel tool you have to click on the object and drag and you can see that now we are creating a bevel and then you can click and drag to decide how much bevel you want okay so I'm, uh, my mouse is not released if you release the mouse and do it again then it's going to bevel for the second time so you don't want that if you uh, release your mouse once you can see here at the bottom there is bevel option so now here you can modify the width of the bevel okay and then how many segments you want for the bevel okay uh, and then you can decide that you want the bevel only in vertex if you want so you can get a different effect here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a dice which has a chamfered edge okay so I'm happy with this so I'll release it and then I'll select all the vertices again and then I'll go and bevel a little bit again this time very slightly now uh, why I'm doing this is that I want to create softer edges for my dice okay and the number of segments I will just add three so it gives me enough geometry to create those smooth shades okay so I can go back to my layout mode now to see how my dice looks okay now it has nice and uh, chamfered edges and a smooth uh, chamfered corners and then nice edges now if you look at the top there are other options here so what we need is a material for our uh, uh, dice so if you see here that there are certain options not visible so you can simply scroll the mouse button and go to your material editor and if you don't have a material uh, your scene may be like this so you'll have to click on new to add a new material and then we need to add an image to the base color so if you click on this you can add an image texture and then here you will get a window to open an image so you what I what I did was uh, I went to the Internet Explorer and search for dice texture Okay, so if you go to images, you'll get a lot of dice textures. So I selected this one. You can select any other one that you like or you can create your own also. It doesn't really matter. Basically, you need uh, these dots. So if you want to create a black and white one and then add your own texture later on, you can do this. Or if you want a specific color or as I said, you can clear your, create your own. So I use this one here not this one this one okay so going back to blender I'll go to desktop I have a folder create called texture so if you're starting in 3d it, I would suggest that you create a basic folder I make YouTube videos so uh, in my folder I have a YouTube folder and inside the YouTube folder I make videos for 3ds and blender and other subjects DIY and then there is a texture folder because I'm going to have a lot of textures 
and then you can see there's my dice texture so once the texture is assigned you can click on this uh, shading option and you can see now what is an image texture is an image is two dimensional okay so, and then our object is three dimensional so what we are doing is we are wrapping the two dimensional image onto a three dimensional object it's like you know covering the dice with a piece of paper or a piece of cloth so it is completely covered so we need to specify how that image is wrapped around the 3d object in a way that we want so we can customize that uh, wrapping and it's called uvw mapping or texture mapping okay uvw correspond to xyz but because uvw is uh, only meant for the texture of the object uh, it is called uvw instead of xyz okay so now if you look at top here you can see there is a texture paint uv editing and shading these are the three options that are used for creating materials okay if you go to shading you can see that there is an output node okay uh, then there is a shader and there is a texture so this is your material this material has a shader and this shader is called ggx shader surface shader and then uh, texture is assigned to that shader image map is assigned to specific uh, elements of this so you can click and drag here to release it and then the connection is lost and then you can connect it back and then again uh, this is the input connection of the shader and this is the output connection so you can output it out and then you can see that now the material has no shader so we'll assign the shader to the material okay so this is the basics of materials you have a material and then it has to have a shader and then the shader can be can have another multiple nodes okay you can zoom in and out of these and we will go in detail about what these are when we create more uh, tutorials about texture mapping and materials okay so in today's uh, um, tutorial we are only going to look at how to wrap this image onto this object okay so this image cannot be directly uh, applied to the object it has to go through a shader and through a material now if you go to uv editor this is where uh, this is the place where the image will be visible and the all these uh, faces will be uh, seen here and if, for example if I click on all these and then you can see that the back one is not selected so again if you scroll your mouse here you can go all the way to the end and click on uh, x-ray mode and then you select the entire see you can see that the entire uh, mesh is uh, selected and this is not actually the mesh this is the uvw maps corresponding to the mesh so you can now move it around and we'll go to smooth shaded so now you can see how when you move this we can place our polygons that is what is used to make the object onto the image so that different parts so for example this two will be visible or this one or these three i'm looking at this face here so and then, so you can see that this middle one corresponds to this face and then when i drag it you can see that those different elements are visible so this this yellow color i created it in photoshop so if you have an image editing software and you don't want a white uh, by default it will be white so you can place your uh, entire object in that area okay and what i will do is i will scale it small and then move it and now the entire image gets yellow color okay so you can see that it has all yellow color now you got to make sure 
so now again if you go to the x-ray mode and now what we will do is again we go here and then we will select the face we'll select this face so this is the polygon this is the uv of the polygon which is on the yellow color so we can simply now move it wherever we want it so for example we want it here so that map is selected there then we will move to the next one which is this one and then we will move this here I'm going to scale this later on I will simply put all the faces I'll select this one and this is the third one so I've got one two three and then this is going to be the fourth one so this will go here and then this one is fifth so it can be five and then this one is going to be sixth so it will be here so now I can zoom in here and then click and drag the middle mouse button to pan now we can select this one and then we can scale it so it covers all the blue area and then you can move it now this map is not very good because the dots are quite big okay so but it's good enough for this particular assignment so you can now go to each polygon and then simply speed up your work process by clicking and dragging and moving around doesn't really matter how big or small it is as long as visually it looks correct it's good enough okay so this will be two and this one is three so we got to scale it big move Scale it big, move, let's see if we fix three, we fix three, six we fixed, five is remaining. Okay. All right. So we got all of this. We can go back to our layout and now you can see that your uh, cube has been texture mapped properly. Okay. So this is how you texture map your objects. Uh, this is how you wrap an image around a 3D object. Uh, keep tuned to other tutorials to learn in depth how to use Blender and 3ds Max uh, right from the beginning of uh, how to navigate to the interface to complex uh, 3d character animations and special effects